Hey everybody, Brooks here. Thank you for taking time to join me today for this 5 for 5 devotion. Uh, I wonder how familiar you are with the Ultimate Fighting Championship. All right, here's what I'm going to do. There was this huge UFC event this past weekend. It was called Fight Island, and uh, a ton of people watched this thing. And, uh, you know, it's just taken the nation by storm for the past few years. So it's mixed martial arts, MMA, and uh, I am going to teach you an MMA move, an ultimate fighting championship move today in this five for five. And you're going to be really thankful that I did. But first, let me ask you a question. When it comes to a balance between your will and God's will, which one usually wins? You know, we've all felt that tension, right? Where we've had a decision to make or we've just tried to chart a course for our lives. And we felt that tension between, you know, what we want and our will for our lives and what we feel like God ultimately wants or what he's expressly already shown us in his word. Well, on Sunday morning, we talked in our message in our James series about this whole topic of the will of God and uh, how prideful it is for us to think we can have our whole lives figured out. And, and really, in reality, feel like we don't need God much at all. That is not a good move. What we need to do is what Jesus did in the Garden of Gethsemane when it comes to the Father's will. Now, when Jesus walked this earth, he was 100% God. And I know this may get a little bit confusing, but even though he walked this earth 100% God, he lived his life on this earth in submission to the will of the Father, God the Father. And, and so we see a little bit of glimpse of that in the book of Mark chapter 14. Here's what's happening. In Mark 14, Jesus is going to really, in a lot of ways, secure the victory of our salvation before he gets to the cross. And uh, before he's ever crucified or resurrected, he wins the victory for our salvation in many ways. And here's what he does. He comes to that place where he has to decide, am I going to go to the cross and carry this out or am I not? And uh, let me just read to you what Mark tells us in the book of Mark. This passage is so significant. Three gospel writers tell us about it in Matthew, Mark, and Luke. So Jesus is, a, is at a place called the Garden of Gethsemane, and uh, he's praying there. He's there with his disciples, all but, um, but Judas. And Peter, James, and John have kind of moved a little bit further with him. And so Jesus begins to pray. Here's what he prays in verse 36 in Mark chapter 14. He was praying, Abba, Father, that's a, just a term for God the Father that is just an especially meaningful, intimate term, uh, referring to Father almost like, like Daddy, uh, a close relational term. He says, all things are possible for you. Jesus acknowledged that God the Father could do anything. He says, remove this cup from me. In other words, if there's another way for me to pay for the sins of the world, then let's do this another way. Remove this cup from me. But here's where Jesus won the victory. He says, yet not what I will, but what you will. See, there was a place in the garden where the human side of Jesus was desiring to avoid the pain of the cross, perhaps, but especially the pain of being separated from the Father because of dying for our sins. But at the same time, Jesus understood that it was about the will of the Father. And so he laid aside some of what he would have desired and he embraced and obeyed the will of God the Father. So back to that MMA move. I told you I was gonna teach you an MMA move today in this five for five. Here's the move. It's a simple move called the tap out. When your opponent has you in a position where you know, I am not gonna get out of this. Maybe he's got your arm bent in a, in a direction that it was not created to bend, and it's about to go beyond that breaking point. What that opponent does is he taps out. He taps out so that the ref or the one who's about to cause bodily harm to him ultimately stops. And, and in that tap out, that MMA move called the tap out, what he's doing is he's submitting and he's surrendering and he's saying, you know what, I'm done. And I think that's the move that God wants us to make. Not that God is trying to bring pain to us. That's not where the illustration goes. But I think the principle is still there. That The best thing we can do, and the best thing you can do to start your day today is to tap out and say, God, this life is not my life. My will is not what's most important. Your will be done. In the decisions you make and the course you take to live your life, surrender to God the Father. That God the Father loves you and is for you, not against you, if you know him 
through Jesus. Walk in his will today. Enjoy him. Hope you have a great day.